What happened? Huh? Don't nobody know nothing? I'll be a Don't nobody know nothing? What up with this? <laughs> Somebody got to know something was going on. I mean, we are African, brother. That's right. That's Mother right. Africa's the only yeah. salvation. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. This won't be easy for any of you. Change never is. So, let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. We got people that say, well, he got all this money. Mm -hmm. Why is he not giving to Africa? Right. Well, what is the African, what is Africa giving to us? Right. Well, what is the African, what is Africa giving to us? What if Africa can't come, came and gave to my children, mm -hmm. to my family? Message! But some of them Africans do not like us. Black Americans, they can't stand us. From the East Coast, you know what I'm talking about. Africans don't even fuck with people from here, bro. Yeah, and anybody who said they're from Africa, bro, that's some dumb shit. Yeah. Africans can, can tell you fucking African. Africans don't even want to be clean with you guys. <laughs> like, that's just the difference. Africans is totally, totally what? separate. Oh, hold on, where you from? I'm from Liberia. Man, I don't know why they mad at us. If anybody should be mad, we should be mad at their ass. You know what I'm saying? I give white people props on this. When y'all have hostages, y'all go get them. I don't give a fuck if it's two. Technically, we've been hostages in this country for 450 years. Not one canoe with a nigga with a spear has shown up to pick us the fuck up. Not one canoe with a nigga with a spear has shown up to pick us the fuck up. Message. I've been to a couple of countries and I've worked with different groups of people from Africa, different countries in Africa. <clears throat> and in the course of us working together and talking and slavery comes up in a conversation. So I asked a simple question and I got a simple answer for it. Um, this is from people of every region that I had talked to. And I asked them, I said, uh, was there any like verbal history told in Africa as of slavery and the people getting stolen and or sold off or whatever and sent, sent away to America? And they said, no. I'm like, okay. Well, how did you learn about slavery? They said in school. Yeah, in school taught by Westerners. When I was in Nigeria, I did not know of the African American story until I got to America. Until I got to America mm -hmm. and found that's, out. That, that's true. Right? I, I did not know anything about slavery. I did not know anything about slavery. And white people, that slavery shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't even mad at y'all about that. For real. You know what I'm saying? Black people, we be fucking with y'all about this shit. Because ain't a brother or sister in this room that has been a slave. We ain't none of us picked no fucking cotton. We wouldn't have known shit about it if y'all hadn't have made the movie Roots. They taught it in school. Chapter seven, slavery. Chapter eight, beat a nigga ass. <laughs> they never taught us. When that fucking movie Roots came on, that shocked the shit out of every black man in this room. And when we just like, what, what the fuck? That's how it was? You know what I'm saying, remember? White people, y'all remember? The next day we came to school and beat the shit out of y'all. You know what I'm saying, remember? White people, y'all remember? The next day we came to school and beat the shit out of y'all. <laughs> I know that's a traumatic experience. You have to remember. Message. White people, when y'all get mad at us, please stop saying this shit. 
why don't you go back to Africa? <laughs> what? How the fuck we gonna go back to some shit we ain't never been to? How the fuck we gonna go back to some shit we ain't never been to? <laughs> Y'all act like we born with maps of that motherfucker in our head. Like we'll just land over there. Take me to Shambuku's house. <laughs> Message. And if you ask some questions on the slave trade, you will see that the story is bullshit. Question number one, where are all the boats that bought these slaves over here? You know, I, um, uh, 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 I, 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 If you look at the map, did anybody ever question the fact of Europe being in such close proximity with Northwest Africa, why would somebody go all the way around down to the middle, grab Africans from there, then go all the way west? Wouldn't it be simpler to just start at the top and work your way down? I, 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 uh, It would cost about it, it, it would cost about the same as what we would spend it, o over the course of ten years. It would cost what it would cost us. It, it, <laughs> what African nation is claiming that you're her lost people? Um, I uh, um, um. Why are Africans coming over here? Africa is the richest continent on the planet. Why are their sons and daughters fleeing for coming to America? Here, I, I, um... I know, look. The, um... Uh, uh, the... Well, the, look, the, the, I, I mean, the... If, if this is, if, if this is being... But, 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 but let me, let me, let me just speak more generally. Like, um, like, um, I just, like, um, I was, like, um, I was, like, um, like, um, I was, um, like, um. Message! So, and by the way, you know, the Zulu thing, when we gave, when Oprah was finally in, in the first series, and we gave her a DNA test, Basically, the next day she went to South Africa to announce and that she was Zulu. So I, it broke on CNN. I was sitting in my living room minding my own business and said, Oprah Winfrey's a Zulu. <laughs> so I called Rick Kittles and I said, Rick, did you tell Oprah she was a Zulu? He goes, no, man, she made that up herself. He goes, no, man, she made that up herself. I would lie to make you laugh, but I'm telling you a true story. So I said, Rick, are you in your lab? He said, yeah. I said, is anybody there? He said, no. I said, when the results come in, make her Zulu, man. <laughs> you know? I said, you back there, making it up anyway. I said, you back there, making it up anyway. <laughs> nobody believe you can take some spit and figure out a tribe? What are you, crazy? <laughs> Message. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. How can I trust you? Just have to make up your own damn mind to either accept what I'm going to tell you or reject it. Some people were ashamed to even say they was Native American again, especially living in an African American community. Because then they told me they was looked upon as being a traitor or trying to be something that they were not. But then they knew their grandmother was an Indian. But then they knew their grandmother was an Indian. Happy Freedom Day! <laughs> Welcome, Craig, Monique's husband. You're familiar. Hmm. Cherokee? Uh, no, just black. You're familiar. Hmm. Cherokee? Uh, no, just black. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cherokee Town and Country Club. You remember, right? Uh, no, no. You sure? Yes. Uh, you must be confusing me with some other black guy.
Mama knew what she was talking about, but I always thought that she wanted to be something that we wasn't. And I remember I used to say, Mama, we, we black. She said, I don't care how black she said, you see any. She said, I don't care how black she said, you see any. That's, I will never forget that. I was about seven years old. Message! When this particular lens of Natick was uh, uh, given, it was given from the people, the native people on the land, which was uh, John Speed. The mass of Indian populations outside the Brandon town decided they could not accommodate. They really didn't want English culture. They didn't want to lose their land, and they revolted. About 550 praying Indians were deported to Deer Island. The winter was brutal. The praying Indians were poorly dressed and sheltered. The native people are almost synonymous with nature and the land. So to give up your land is to give up parts of your very own body. The colonists deported many of the Pequot warriors to the West Indies aboard the ship Desiree. In 1638, Desiree returned to Massachusetts. According to John Winthrop, then governor of the colony, it was loaded with salt, cotton, tobacco, and Negroes. And Negroes. This is my grandmother's birth certificate. That's her mother's maiden name that you see there, Laddie. May. It's supposed to be Lottie May Moses before she got married to my great grandfather, Eli Boyd. As you can see that this is official. This right here is a census that they did. They dated as the 1940s, the Bishopville Lee County, South Carolina. Here is my grandfather, Eli Boyd. Here is my great grandmother, Lottie. This is my grandmother. Oh, look, she was eight then. They have them classified as Negroes. They have them classified as Negroes. Let's go and check if he's on the DOS roll. Eli Boyd, Chickasaw Freeman. My grandmother, Lottie Moses. Chalk talk. Wow. Message! My name is Fanny Washington, and I'm, nine, I'm 100 years old. Where are you from? Lockdale, Mississippi. And what year were you born? 1916. I grew up on a plantation. The name of the plantation was Kane and Anderson Plantation. In the country, we were living on a white man's farm. Mm -hmm. and my Hands raised cotton, corn. Do you consider yourself as an American? As Yeah, I am American. You are American? Yeah. I consider myself a colored person. A colored person? Yeah. When did they switch over from colored people to black people? They, they just started uh, calling people black, I guess, because uh, there was a lot of African people in, in, in the United States back in those days. There was Africans, and then there was um, Americans? Amer yeah. And they spoke a different language? Uh, oh, yeah, because you couldn't understand the language. Oh, really? Uh -huh. I didn't know that. No. So on the plantation, you'd have Americans, and then you'd have Africans? Uh-huh. Message! You know what that means? It's Latin. It means know thyself.